everyone is doing well today, we will start the online service in a while after these friendly reminders and announcements. A friendly reminder to all, first, diligently wash and disinfect your hands especially when you go out of your houses. Avoid touching your face with your hands as the virus can easily enter through our mouths, eyes, and noses. Second, keep social distancing. Avoid being in crowded places as we won't know if someone in the crowd is infected or asymptomatic. Third, be updated about the news and let's follow instructions from our authorities. Be safe, everyone! For tithes and offerings, you can deposit through our BPI account number flashed on the screen below. If you are not able to do so, you can contact your leader or your network leader for further instructions. And happy birthday to those who have celebrated their birthdays in the past week. We thank the Lord for its love and faithfulness in your lives. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, CCFI Jensen. And we'll keep you posted for more information and updates in our Facebook and Instagram page. Treat this online service as if you're in an actual Sunday service. So please be on time and watch the video to the very end. The service will start shortly, so open your hearts and keep your ears clean as you listen to the Word of God. A blessed day to everyone! sa ating lahat. Hinihiling ko na tayo lahat ay tumayo. Woo! Yeah. Isang mapagpalang hapon po sa bawat isa sa atin, lalong-lalo yeah! tayo mga nag-online worshipers ngayon. Pwede ba palakpakan natin ang ating mga kamay Amen. para sa ating Diyos? Yeah. May it be physical or online, God is with us. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Patiin mo nga ang nasa katabi mo, sabihin mo, nagagalak ako na nandirito ka ngayon. Sa kabila naman, sabihin mo, masaya ako na magkatabi tayo ngayon. Ayan. Masaya ba kayo ngayon? Yeah! Magmahina. Masaya ba kayo ngayon? Woo! Handa na ba kayo na magpuri sa ating buhay na Diyos? Hallelujah! Palakpak natin ang ating mga kamay. Palakas na palakpak. Palakpak na para sa Panginoon. Yeah! we all raise our hands as we pray. Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa buhay na binigay mo sa amin ngayon. 
Panginoon, Ikaw lamang at wala ng iba ang aming pupurihin, ang aming sasambahin. Iyong pangalan, Jesus, ang aming itataas. Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa panibagong pag-asa, panibagong buhay na binibigay mo sa amin bawat araw. Marahil may iba na nakaranas nagpang, ng pagkalungkot, nakaranas ng pagkahina. Subalit kami ay patuloy na magtitiwala sa iyo. Alam namin ikaw ang Diyos na may ginagawa para sa amin. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, dahil ngayon, Ikaw ang pupuno ng pag-asa, Ikaw ang pupuno ng pag-ibig sa bawat puso na bawat isa sa amin ngayon. Panginoon, maghari ka sa bawat buhay, sa bawat puso, Ikaw lamang Diyos ang tanging hangari namin. Lord, itataas namin ang iyong pangalan, Lord, no one else, but it's only your name, Jesus, that we live high and we worship in this place. We love you, Lord. Alam kong ba'y magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong ba'y magagawa ang Diyos. Kung ako'y magtatapat sa kanya'y maglilingkod Alam kong ba'y magagawa ang Diyos Alam kong di ringgin ang Diyos ang samo ko
ang makasama ng Diyos ay tunay. Ang makasama ng Diyos ay
heart is alive, it's because of you. It's because of your love and because of what you did on the cross for us. And Lord, this afternoon, we continue to humble down ourselves before you and declare that we need you. We need you in our family. We need you in our office, oh God. We need you in every campus, Lord. We need you in our life, Lord. We will lay down everything to you, oh God. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Come and sing, church. It was grace that taught my heart to be, and raised my feet. How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed My chains are gone I've been set free My God, my Savior blood that shed on the cross, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. Come on, fill this place with thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. The earth shall soon dissolve like snow. The sun forbid
declare your presence, Holy Spirit, in this place. We worship the Lord in spirit and in truth.
that we will worship you in spirit and in truth all the day all the days of our lives oh god jesus we give you praise oh what a savior wonderful jesus oh what a savior wonderful jesus chapter of our lives we are in right now this is our confidence Jesus that you are into the business of finishing the story that you have started in our lives father and as we patiently worship Lord for your magnificent works in our lives oh God we continue to praise you and worship you Lord Jesus This is our story, oh God, of worship in your precious and holy name, God. This is my story. This is my song. Come on, church, sing. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my this is my song Raising my Savior All the day long Amen Hello, Mike, hello Hello Amen. This is our story. This is our song. To come regularly to worship the Lord, to exalt His name. Is that amen to everyone? Let us pray. Father, thank you once again that we are gathered together as a church. 
Thank you, God, that when we worship you, you will minister to every heart, Lord. A blessed assurance that you are our God and we serve a God who never fails. We have the assurance, God, that what we are doing, worshiping you, is so blessful, so good, so enjoyable, so desirable, because you are our God and your promises will never fail. Father God, touch every heart today. Because, Lord, we want to be strong, to be healthy, to be nourished, Lord, spiritually, so that we live a life that is strong, healthy, and fruitful, Lord, for your purposes, O God. Lord, today we claim, Lord, that every heart will be cultivated once again, Lord. Every heart will be connected to you deeply, passionately, Lord. As we have seen, Lord, your faithfulness through the years, God. Through the years, Father, you never fail. Lord, oh God, Lord, bless your people today, whatever condition they are in. Whatever trials or challenge they are facing, God. Whatever problem they have, Father, that you are God, you are sovereign, and you are in control. And you love your people, Lord. Embrace them by your word, Father. Embrace them by your spirit, Lord. Thank you, God, for your unfailing love, the love that never fails. Lord God, we also pray continually for our country, especially in this time of crisis. We pray, Lord, for our president and all the officials of the land. Our city mayor, we pray for him, Lord, even as they grieve for the passing away of Mam Dali Rivera, the mother of our city mayor. Lord, we pray for that family. We pray, Lord, for every family represented here today. Lord, they may be uh, facing some problems in the family, but Lord, you are sovereign and you are in control. You will work miracles upon every situation in the family today. Lord, nothing is impossible with you. Lord, do not allow problems, misunderstandings to separate families, Lord. Because we are a family. We are one spiritual family today. Father God, bless the word that's going to be shared today. And your word is powerful. And Lord, we have the heart made of flesh, willing to receive your word and to be changed by your word. We bless your name, O God. And whatever is accomplished today, we give all the honor, all the glory to our Lord Jesus Christ the King of kings and the Lord of lords. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Can we, can we give a big hand to God one more time? Amen. Are you excited for today? Amen. Welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you sa ating praise and worship team. Sino sa inyo sa worship pa lang, God has started to cultivate your heart already. Amen. May ginawa na si Lord sa ating mga puso. When we praise God, when we worship Him in songs. And songs are so powerful. Amen. Songs touches the hearts of people who are seeking to be touched by God. Amen. Welcome everyone. At saka lalo na sa ating mga new friends, mga first timers. Sino sa inyo ngayon lang kayo nakapunta dito? Can you raise your hands? Diyan sa taas. No? Welcome sa lahat. At saka welcome sa ating mga online. Simultaneous. Ah, hindi pala simultaneous. We have our online also uh, worship. Okay. Hindi, uh, this is recorded simultaneously but uh, delayed na siya. No? Later na this afternoon or tonight, early tonight pa mapalabas yung ating uh, online service. Is that amen? Tama ba ako? Ah, yeah, I sorry. Online, simultaneous talaga, no? Okay, glory to God. Ah, uh, I think you know me already, or it is in the screen. So, I'm happy to be here once again to be the one to deliver the word of God today. Amen. Ah, uh, this month is Nutrition Month, the month of July. Kaya our theme for this month of July is about uh, health, nutrition. 
And so we link that to our spiritual health also or fitness, nutrition. Physical fitness is a billion dollar industry. Have you noticed? Malaking negosyo ang physical fitness. Okay? Sa mga gym, ang daming gym kahit na dito sa Jensen. May mga gadget about for physical fitness. May mga equipments, di ba? At saka sa internet, marami ring uh, internet videos para sa physical fitness. Oh yeah, si Tora, ginagamit namin yan. Meron kaming five-mile walk. Sa, <laughs> sinusundan lang namin sa internet. Meron ring mga gadgets. Paki, pakita sa picture. May mga gadgets ngayon recently na ikabit mo lang sa katawan mo to which part of your body. And then, to which part, uh, to that part of your body na gusto mong lumiit or lumaki, then wala ka nang gawin, magiging okay yung katawan mo. Look at the picture. No? Ikaw, eh, di ba? Are you familiar with that? Merong ganyan na mga gadget. But you know what? Physical fitness doesn't happen overnight. No? Hindi pwede. No? Kasi sabi nga sa, sa gym noon, merong sinasabi na no pain, no gain. Do you agree? So there are three basic steps para magiging physical fit, uh, physically fit tayo. The first one is balanced diet. Amen? Good, the right kind of food. The second one is regular exercise. And the third one is rest and sleep. Tatlo yan. It doesn't happen overnight mga magiging fit ka. Kailangan tamang pagkain, may exercise regularly, at rest and sleep. Kahit masarap yung pagkain mo, kahit nag-exercise ka, pero hindi ka natutulog, naglalaro ka ng ML. Ala stress na lang umaga ka matulog, no? Time will come, you will suffer the consequence of that. Amen ba? Is that amen sa mga young men? Mga young men? <laughs> Mahilig. Men lang ba ang naglalaro, naglalaro ng ano, computer game? Everybody, kahit uh, mga young women din. No? So tatlo yan. And that's the basis of our preaching today. No? Balanced diet, exercise, regular exercise, no? at pangatlo is rest and sleep. Balanced diet, alam nyo yun. Exercise, okay. So the title of the word today is Year of Christ Likeness, Three Steps to Spiritual Fitness. Tatlong step para magiging spiritually fit tayo. Tulad ng physical, tatlo, ang kailangan tatlo din no, sa spiritual life. Gusto niyo mag-grow spiritually? Gusto niyo magiging strong physically? Of course, gusto natin yan. But how about spiritually? Do, gusto niyo rin ba malakas, healthy kayo spiritually? Ilang taon na ba kayo na Christian? Ilang taon na? At tanungin niyo or i-check niyo ang sarili. Are you growing strong in your Christian life? Are you growing strong? nag improve ba ang Christian life mo noon hanggang ngayon and continually growing strong? I want you to answer that no, in your heart. Sabi ng 1 Timothy 4.8, at it, the same verse was used by the previous preachers in the past two weeks, sabi dyan, physical training is good, importante, na physically fit tayo, but training for godliness is much better. Sabihin mo sa katabi, sabihan mo yung katabi mo, much better. Di ba? Much better with promising benefits not only in this life but in the life to come. Spiritual fitness is must 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 importante. The benefit is not only now in this life but in the life to come because you are going to heaven if you Amen. Yeah. Amen. So there are three steps to be spiritually fit. The first point, mabilis lang tayo. The first is spiritual fitness requires proper spiritual nutrition. Just like physically, balanced diet, tamang pagkain, spiritually, kailangan din natin ng proper nutrition, spiritual nutrition. 
Matthew 4.4, sabi dyan, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Agree? Amen. No? Hindi tayo healthy spiritually kung wala tayong proper spiritual food. Balanced diet. No? Balanced diet. Hindi junk food. Sabi ng verse, no? healthy, balanced diet, maraming junk food kahit sa spiritual sense. Mga superstitious belief. Sino sa inyo maraming superstitious belief dati? Ngayon, tinatanggal ni Lord yan. Walang basis, junk food, mga godless activities, mga rituals na walang connection sa iyong spiritual life. Wala nga sa Bible. Junk food yan. Walang benefit. No? Ganon din, junk food sa ating mga activities like Facebook. Ilang oras ba kayo nag-Facebook? Minsan, madaling araw na, Facebook pa rin. How about Netflix? Yeah. How about computer games? How long do you play those games? Amen? What about sobra sa laag? Di ba? Marami tayong ginagawang junk food. Ano ang mga junk activities na ginagawa mo hanggang ngayon? Check yourself. Na isipin mo junk ito, pwede nang maalis ito, or mababawasan ang time sa mga junk activities. Is that amen? Feed on God's Word every day. Spiritual food. I will tell you a story in the Old Testament. God's people, while they are in the desert from Egypt, they were brought by God to the promised land. Along the way, naubusan sila ng pagkain. O wala talagang pagkain dahil disyerto. No? And then God gave them food. Alam niyo yung pangalan ng food nila? Mana. Let's read Exodus 16:12 to 24. But hindi na natin basahin lahat. I-pinpoint ko lang kasi mahaba siya. Maubos ang time natin. Basahin nyo na lang pag uwi nyo sa bahay. Check it once again. Je- Exodus 16:12 to 24. Okay? Verse 12. The people were grumbling dahil walang pagkain. Sino sa inyo, pag walang pagkain, nag-wild? Nag-wild ang mga anak ni Lord, mga Israelites, dahil walang pagkain. Nakalimutan nila na si Lord maraming ginawa sa kanila sa Egypt. Mga miracles, there were many miracles that God did to them. But ngayon, naubusan lang sila ng pagkain, they were already grumbling. Sino sa inyo nag-grumble kay kay Lord pag wala well, may problema, maliit na problema at makalimutan mo ang ginawa ni Lord in your life in the past. Is that amen? And then we have, because they were grumbling, God said, I will give you food. In verse 13, binigyan sila ng fried quail. Dinala ni Lord yung Jollibee chicken. Jollibee quail. Binigyan sila ng pagkain. That's in verse 13. And then in verse 14, binigyan, binigyan rin sila ng thin flakes, mana. Parang early in the morning, these flakes or thin flakes, nahuhulog, no mana from heaven. Kinukuha nila parang flour, niluluto nila, however they cook them, di ba? So yun ang mana na tinatawag natin. Thin flakes. Then in verse 16, they were told to get it every day. Araw-araw nila kunin yung mana. Can you imagine that? Hindi ka na magtrabaho, kukunin mo na lang. Provided ni Lord yun. Then sabi ni Lord, an omer for each person. That's in verse 16. An omer. An omer is about one and a half kilos. The, 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 the quantity needed for one person for one day. So an omer for each person in the family. Kung lima kayo, five omers. Kung apat kayo, four omers. Dapat maubos nyo yan for that single day at araw-araw nila kunin yun in the desert. And then, uh, get one omer only. Instruction ni Lord, meron namang nag-disobey. What happened? Nasira. 
Sabi ni Lord, verse 19, no one is to keep any of it until morning. Pero hindi sila nag What happened in verse 20? They were full of maggots, inuod, and began to smell. Magiging mabaho. Hindi nila makain the following day. Okay? And then, there is an instruction on the sixth day, Saturday, for example. Sabi ni Lord, dahil bukas magsimba kayo, today, two omers for each person ang kunin nyo. For today and for tomorrow, yun ang instruction ni Lord. Because, sabi ng verse 23, because tomorrow is to be a day of rest. So, ang gusto ng Lord, huwag kayong magtrabaho dahil mag-church kayo. That, amen? So, that's the story. There are three important lessons from this story. Number one, this mana spiritual food should be taken once a day. Kukunin natin every day. Sino sa inyo, you read your Bible every day. Amen? Every day. Yun ang sabi ni Lord. Kunin nyo every day. Sino sa inyo nagbabasa ng Bible every day? You are following instructions. Number two, it has to be consumed for that day and not to be kept over all er- or else it will spoil. Okay? Ang gusto ni Lord will listen to His revelation every day. Every day, tanggapin natin yung nutrients, yung nourishment for that day. Because God will speak to us every single day. When you read your Bible for that day, mayroong sasabihin si Lord that will help you for that day. Ganon ang refreshment ni Lord, on time, just at the right time. Is that amen? Just in time. Meron yan sa business, just in time. Okay? And the third on the sixth day, they were to gather twice. Dahil tomorrow will be time of worship. Hindi kayo magtrabaho bukas, sabi ni Lord. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Our day of worship should not be sacrificed in favor of work or, or other activities. Gusto mo mag-beach, ayaw mo mag-church. Gusto mo mag-climbing mag mountain o may mountain climbing. Hindi ka maka-church, No? Yun ay ibig sabihin ni Lord, we put importance to our gathering. Glory to God for those who are present here today. You are obeying that from the Lord. Amen? We were created to gather and to worship the Lord from the beginning of time. That's why God is happy when, uh, when brethren gather in unity to worship Him, to glorify your name. Is that amen? Can we give God a clap offering for that? Amen. At alam nyo ba sa New Testament, Jesus talked about Himself as the manna coming down from heaven in the New Testament. Sabi ng John 6, 48-51, si Jesus speaking, sabi ni Jesus, I am the bread of life. Your forefathers ate manna in the desert, yet they died. Okay? They all died in the Old Testament. But Jesus said, but here is the bread that comes down from he- heaven. Referring to himself, which a man may eat and not die. Can you imagine that? You eat Jesus and you will not die. Sabi dyan, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. Meaning we will have eternal life. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Jesus is the manna that came from saan galing? Heaven. Ikaw saan ka galing? Si Tora galing sa Leitian. She was born there. I came from Misamis Occidental. I was born there. That's the start of our life. But Jesus, where did Jesus, uh, where was Jesus born? Of course, we know Bethlehem. But actually, that's not the start of Jesus. He said He came down from heaven. His new beginning is in heaven. From the beginning of time. Okay, from the beginning of time. Jesus has no beginning, has no end. In the book of Genesis, nando na si Jesus. He created the world. Is that amen? Is that amen? So, He is God, the Son of God. 
who came down to give us that bread. And the bread is Himself, Jesus Christ. Amen? At sabi dito, for the life of the whole world, this bread is for everybody. Kaya kailangan natin, anong gawin natin? Dahil it is not only for us, no? It is for everybody. This life, eternal life, is not intended for us only. It is for everybody. Kaya kailangan natin i-share to your family, especially. At ikaw ang gamitin ni Lord. To your friends, dahil friends kayo, ikaw ang gamitin ni Lord. Is that amen? So, paano natin? How do we consume this bread? Jesus, the bread of life. I would like to preach to our new friends, first timers. May exit lang ito. I will request the new friends to stand while I am preaching this portion of the sermon. No? Uh, pre- first timers, can you stand? Ganito ang pag-consume. Huwag kayo mahiya. Can you stand? Because I will be preaching to you for a little while. Well, come on. Yeah, nakatayo na sila. Okay, while you are standing, do not sit down. This portion is for you. Paano natin makonsume si Jesus ang bread of life? Okay, Romans 10, 9 to 10. This is so familiar. This is how we consume Jesus, the man who came down from heaven. Sabi dyan, that if you confess your, with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. God raised him from the dead, meaning you believe that Jesus is God. He came down from heaven. He died on the cross. He died, and God raised him from the dead so that, so that everyone who will believe in him will be raised from the dead also, will have eternal life. Is that amen? At sabi dyan, sa verse 10, it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. You are justified to go to heaven by just believing. And then it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. When you confess, so I want you all to confess today. If you have done it, we'll do it again. Okay? Follow after me. We will confess the Lord Jesus once again. Amen? So let's bow our heads. Pray this prayer with me. Lord God, thank you for your love. Lord, I accept that I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. Thank you for Jesus, the manna that, is, that came down from heaven, the bread of life, Lord Jesus Christ. I receive you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Starting today, Lord, I am your son, I am your daughter, and you are my heavenly Father, my Savior, my Lord. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Palapakan natin ang ating mga new friends. Thank you. Once again, hope to see you again next Sunday. Amen. So that we will continue to grow in the Lord. That's the way to consume. Pwede na pong umupo. Thank you. That's the way to consume. Jesus, the bread of life. Amen. Palapakan natin ang ating mga new first timers. Congratulations. You are now saved. You are distant to heaven, just like all of us. Amen? We are a family. And then, sabi dyan, yung ginawa nyo is the start or the first step to be spiritually alive. Amen? And then, to remain spiritually healthy, okay, we remain spiritually healthy when we feed on His Word every day. Now that we are alive in the Lord, para tuloy-tuloy yung ating spiritual health, kailangan kumain tayo araw-araw ng spiritual food. The manna, no? the Word of God. Is that amen? The Word of God. I will share to you some examples of great men in the Bible. How they consider or how they love the Word of God. These are some examples. Only three of them, no? The first one is, for example, Job. Kung paano gidescribe ni Job ang kanyang love for the Word of God. Sabi ni Job, I have not departed from the commands of his lips. Gustong-gusto niya makinig sa mga sinasabi ni Lord. 
I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. Mas gusto niya more than food. Sino sa inyo hindi okay kung gutom kayo? No? Hindi kayo okay kung gutom. Hindi pa rin kayo okay kung hindi kayo naka-devotional. Sabi ni Job, di ba? Sabi ni Job, more than physical food. Mas gusto niya ang kanyang spiritual food na galing sa bibig ng ating Panginoon. Amen? Example ni Jeremiah. Jeremiah 15:16. When your words came, I ate them. No? Imaginin mo yung kinakain ni Jeremiah yung words ni Lord. They were my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name, O Lord God Almighty, sabi ni Jeremiah. Imagine digesting the word of God in your stomach. Nourished by the word of God. Okay? Sino sa inyo pag kumain talagang kain talaga with passion? No? Na-imagine niyo yung kumakain na pinapawisan sa sarap kumain? Nakikita na kayo ng tao? Ganon din si Jeremiah sa pagkain ng word ni Lord. Talagang kain ng kain talaga siya. Can you, be, can you be like that also sa word ni Lord? Talagang kakainin niyo. Pag-aralan talaga. Mag-study talaga. Intindihin talaga kung ano sinasabi ni Lord. Is that amen? Amen ba? O na-review kayo ni Lord? <laughs> Amen. And David, tingnan nyo si David, the third example. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Sino sa inyo? Ano ang mga favorito nyo na pagkain? Ha? Huh? Ice cream? Si Tora Sweets? Kaya matas ang sugar? Di ba? Ganon rin ba tayo sa word the Lord? You, you desire it so much dahil favorite mo. Ang gusto ni Lord, favorite natin ang word niya. Tingnan natin itong New Testament believers in Hebrews 4.12. Kung paano nila treat ang words ni Lord. Dapat tulad din tayo nila sa New Testament believers in Hebrews 4.12. Sabi dyan, for the word of God is living and active. Buhay ba ang word ni Lord sa buhay mo? Amen? As you read it, nababago ka kasi sinusundan mo. Pag hindi mo sinunod ang word the Lord, hindi ka magbago. Tama ba? It is living and active, sharper than double-edged sword. Talagang minsan masakit. No? Ang word ni Lord. Kasi ikaw ba naman pag inopera ka ng doktor, masakit yun. Mabuti na lang, ma-anesthesia. Amen? So, yan. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit. What is that? Pag nagbasa ka ng Bible, i-divide ni Lord yung soul. Yun lang, yung mga bagay na galing sa will, mind, or feelings mo. Yung gusto mo, yun ang soul. I-separate ni Lord yung gusto mo lang at saka yung spirit, yung gusto ni Lord. As you read the Bible, you will slow, uh, little by little, understand ito, hindi ito gusto ni Lord. Gusto ko lang ito. Ito naman, ito talaga ang gusto ni Lord. God will speak to us when we read the word of God. And then, sabi dyan, joints and marrow. Yung pinaka, pinaka loob-looban, mga nakatago na mga feelings mo, ilalabas yan ni Lord. You will be confronted by those. Then it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Ibig sabihin, i-correct the Lord, i-expose the Lord ang mga iniisip mo at mga attitude mo or natin na kailangan mabago. Amen? So the first step is nourished by the words of God. The second step is exercise. Exercise. Sino sa inyo nag exercise regularly? Spiritual fitness requires regular spiritual exercise. Agree kayo? Regular exercise. Hindi exercise kung gusto mo lang. Sino sa inyo, exercise kung maisipan. Pag nakalimot naman, okay lang din wala, di ba? Hindi ma-develop ang ating spiritual muscle kung mag-exercise ka kung gusto mo lang. Our faith 
Uh, faith is like a muscle. Imagine your muscles. Ganyan din ang faith natin. It requires regular spiritual exercise to develop. Okay? Our faith is personal. Agree kayo? It depends upon, upon you so that it will be developed, it will grow. Depende sa iyo. Hindi siya depende sa leader mo or depende sa pastor mo. Hindi. Your faith depends on you. Pag nag-exercise ka, ma-develop yung faith mo. Amen. Our leaders or your leaders can only help you or encourage you. Sabihin sa iyo, wow, may muscle ka na, tuloy mo pa. O, oh, di ba? Ganun lang ang mga leaders. Wow, ang galing mo. Malaki na yung mga six-pack mo. May dalawa ka na, apat na lang. Yung mga ganun, di ba? Ganun lang gagawin ng mga leaders, pero ikaw talaga ang magtrabaho sa faith mo. Amen? We have different kind of gifts or talents. Tama ba? Iba-iba ang mga talento natin and we have to use those talents no, to exercise those talents para ma-develop ang ating faith. Amen? Sabi ng Romans 12:4 to 8, Just as each of us has one body with many members and these members do not have, do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body and each member belongs to all the others. Isang katawan daw tayo. Iba-iba ang ating mga talents, di ba? But we have to work together, one purpose, loving God, loving people, no? exercise our spiritual muscles so that ma-develop ang ating mga, ang ating mga faith, ang ating mga spiritual muscles. Amen? Yung iba sa atin sa verse 6, sabi dyan, we have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, what is prophesying? It is declaring the truth of God coming from the Bible. May mga tao na magaling talaga mag, mag-prophesy, mag-explain sa truth ni Lord. Is that amen? If you have that gift, do it. No? Wholeheartedly. Some of us have the gift of serving. Gusto mo mag-serve. What is serving? It is helping. Ganun lang ka-selfies. Helping other people na kailangan ng tulong. No? That is serving. Yung iba naman, your gift is, in verse 8, it is encouraging. Sino sa mga life group, <coughs> life group members nyo na magaling mag-encourage? Pag nakita mo siya, nai-encourage ka. Some people are like that. Na it brings light sa mukha ng mga kaibigan. No? Sa akin, si Tora nakaka-bring ng light. Ewan ko sa inyo kung na, nakaka-bring ng light din ba siya sa inyo. Amen. And then, <laughs> what else? Joke lang yun, pero totoo. What about verse, uh, yeah, verse 8? What about giving? Maraming tao magaling din sa, sa gift of giving. No? Sharing what you have, being generous. And then we have the gift of leadership. The gift of leadership is just uh, creating teamwork. The ability to lead people para magka, magkaisa and towards a common goal. And then the last is mercy. Have compassion to those who need help. No? Madali, maawain. So iba-iba ang ating mga gifts and talents. Alam ko, kahit kayo dyan sa online, iba-iba ang ating mga gifts and talents. At sabi ni Lord, we have to use them together as one team. Sabi dyan, if in our diversity we can word, work towards a common goal, we can accomplish more. If in our diversity, my slide please. If in our diversity we can work towards a common goal, we can accomplish more. Is that amen? A good example is a church. One church tayo, iba-iba ang ating mga talents, di ba? And we can worship together. We can expand the kingdom of God if we work together. Some of us are good in instruments. Some of us in good in singing. Some in dancing, in serving sa ating mga ushers, sa ating mga martial. Some of, many of us are leaders 
You have your own life groups, helping people, encouraging people. Diba? That's a church, an example of working together for the glory of God. Inviting friends, that's why we are here. Because somebody invited us. Amen? We are many. We are one body, different gifts. But working together, we expand the kingdom of God. Is that amen? Amen. We accomplish more. Sa life group, ganun din. In a smaller scale. Sa life group, mag, may, problem, may, may problema ang kaibigan, ang kasama, may mag-encourage. Tama ba? Ganun tayo. Big or small. That's our purpose. Serving one another. Iba-ibang talents, but working together, we can, we can achieve more. What is our common goal? Love God and love people. Because we love, we love God, we can love people. Kahit mahirap pa minsan, pero we can love people because we love God. Is that amen? Amen. Individuals win trophies, but teams win championships. Do you agree? Pag nag-iisa tayo, mayroon din tayong magawa. Pero ibang klase pag sama-sama. Mas, mas marami tayo, we work together, mas marami, mas masaya. Is that amen? Kaya mas masaya sa LG, working together, hindi ka nag-iisa. Amen. Because we are not created to be alone. We enjoy to gather together. That's why it is so abnormal to just stay in our homes in this pandemic and we cannot gather together as a church. Is that amen? To our online friends, we pray one day you will join us. Is that amen? Amen. Just be cautious. Okay, be careful. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that the pandemic has not... Uh, we are, they are under control, especially in our city. That's good news. Is that amen? Amen. Together, we can win championships. We can conquer our city pag sama-sama tayo. No single church can conquer our city for the Lord. All Christians should work together. And we are just one church among many in our city. Is that amen? Gusto ni Lord, we serve one another. United together. Sabi ng Matthew 20, 25 to 26, Jesus said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. No? Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. God, Jesus Christ, commanded us to serve one another. But we should not serve each other like the world does. Kasi the world... The Lord over. Ang the world, ang mundo, di ba? Bosi. Parang hari sila pag nag-serve. Do this, do that. Pero Jesus commanded us to be servants. Amen? Servants. Sabi ni Jesus, the one who wants to be great among you must be the, the greatest servant of all. Counterculture si Jesus. Iba ang kanyang tinitoro. Amen? Jesus is telling us to serve well, not lording over, but have a servant heart. Okay? When we exercise regularly, regular na yung exercise natin to develop our muscle. Sino sa inyo maganda mga muscles nyo? Yung akin, hindi na-develop to. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> Joke pala yun. In exercise, in exercise, no? In exercising our spiritual muscles, there are times we experience pain. Di ba? Pag nag-exercise ka, minsan masakit. Okay? We experience pain, but through the pain, we develop or we form muscles. No pain, no gain. Tama? So, when we exercise our faith, ang ating mga talents and skills, there will be trials and challenges. May mga problema. Ma-hurt tayo minsan. Masaktan. Sometimes, ma-discourage ka. You are helping people, ma-discourage ka. Kasi minsan, iba ang ginagawa niya against you. Di ba? Sometimes, persecuted ka. Ng mga parents mo, ng mga loved ones mo. Sometimes, you feel a failure. 
Bakit patagal na ako nag-serve? Hindi man na-develop ang muscle ko, Lord. Ganito pa rin ako. Hindi, ayaw, ay, hindi, hindi ako magka-devotional every day. Hindi pa develop ang ating aking spiritual muscle. Is that amen? But ito yung promises ni Lord sa atin na minsan nadi-discourage tayo, we feel a failure. Di ba? Minsan feeling natin, uh, hindi natin makaya yung regular spiritual exercise. Ito yung tatlong promises ni Lord. I want you to have this in Romans 8.18. Sabi ni Lord John, Paul is saying here, Sabi ni Paul, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Marami tayong problema, pero sabi ni Paul, yung problema mo, your present suffering, present lang yan. Hindi yan tuloy-tuloy. Temporary lang yan. Amen? Your problems now, are just temporary. Tuloy ka lang, masolve yan. Yan ang promise ni Lord. When we serve the Lord, there will be problems. But our sufferings are temporary. Secondly, they are not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed to us. Amen? Huwag nating, huwag tayong mag-surrender kasi maraming problema ang magiging Christian, mag-surrender ka. They are not your problems today are not worth comparing to the glory that God has prepared for you. Amen? Our glory that will be revealed to us is much, much more. Do not exchange it to the sufferings you are uh, uh, facing today. Sufferings like persecuted ka sa parents mo. Ngayon, wala ka pang trabaho. Tuloy ka lang. Huwag kang sumurender. Pag may trabaho ka na, mag ang sitwasyon. Is that Amen? And they are not worth na hihinto ka at mawala yung inumpisa ni Lord sa buhay mo. Is that amen? Pangawala, pangalawang promise, Romans 8.28. Sabi dyan, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, even the pain you are experienced now will turn out for your good. Kahit yung mga masakit ngayon that you are experiencing will turn out to be for your good. Kahit masakit ngayon ang pag-exercise, one day makita mo yung fruit ng exercise mo. Amen? It is for your good. They will develop your muscle. Example, application. Ano ang mga pain na na-experience mo in the past? That's why you are here today. Di ba yung mga pain mo, yung mga problema mo that you experience in your past brought you to the Lord? Di ba? God using our problems and pains in the past, that's why we are in the Lord today. There were dissatisfactions in the past. Kung ano ang meaning ng life mo, ng trabaho mo. No, araw-araw ka nag-work, iniisip mo, ito lang ba talaga ang buhay? Magtrabaho, umuwi, kumain, matulog, bumalik sa trabaho? Is it life? It's not. That's why you seek the Lord. That's why now you are here today. Amen. Amen. And the third promise, the Lord, is in Romans 8.37. The first promise is, our sufferings are temporary and they are not worth comparing. The second one is that everything will work out for good. Kahit yung mga masama, kahit yung mga trials and problems and suffering, it will, it will turn out for our good. Amen ba? And the last is, no, in all things, we are more than conquerors through Him who love us. Uh, understand this, verse 38. Sabi ni Paul, for I am convinced, sabi ni Paul, that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor de- depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that, that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen? Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Imagine that. Now that you are in the Lord, nothing, no one can snatch you from His hands. You are so secure. You are in the best place on earth because you are in Jesus. Is that amen? Can we give a big clap? For the truth, no one can separate us from His hands. And God's hands are so strong. 
No one is stronger than Him. So do not be, you, we are secured. At huwag tayo mag-act like we are insecure. Di ba? Pag medyo feeling insecure ka, you tend to do something wrong with your life because insecure ka. But God is telling us right now, we are secure in the Lord. Amen? We have this blessed assurance. Security. Dahil nandyan tayo kay Lord. Is that amen? Amen. Huwag tayong mag-feeling insecure. Amen. And the third and the last point, spiritual fitness requires spiritual rest and renewal. Kailangan tayo physically matulog, magpahinga, huwag mag-abuso sa ating mga katawan, lalo na ngayon, bata pa tayo, malakas pa ang katawan, you seem like hindi kayo napapagod, but time will come, you will suffer the consequence kung hindi kayo natutulog, mga young people. Spiritually, kailangan din natin ng rest and refreshing. Ano ba nakakabigay sa inyo ng rest and sleep? Ano ba nakaka-refresh o nakakapag-recharge sa inyo spiritually? Spiritually speaking, ano ang nakaka-recharge sa inyo? The first one is refresh yourself through fellowship with the people of God. Nare-refresh ba kayo pag nagsasama kayo sa mga LG? Pag pumupunta kayo sa church, those are mean those are means of refreshing, recharging. Worship with the Lord. Amen? Sabi ng Hebrews 10, 24 to 25, Let us consider how we spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. Amen? Kailangan natin ang life group, kailangan natin ang church to keep the fire burning. Amen? Tingnan mo yung picture ng isang uling. May, ako, may picture ako dyan sa uling, charcoal. Charcoal is burning hot. Can you imagine that? Diba? Together we are like charcoal as a church. Burning hot. But if you get one charcoal portion of that and isiparate mo, diba? at pansinin nyo ano mangyari over time, diba? mamatay ang apoy. Together, we are burning. Pero pag nag-separate ka, your fire will die down. Is that amen? Sabihan mo yung seatmate mo, on fire ako dahil kasama kita. Di ba? On fire ka dahil kasama siya. Pero hindi lang siya. On fire ka dahil kasama tayong lahat. Tama ba? Amen. So, sabihan mo na yung kabila. Hindi ka pwede mawala. Oh. Mga online friends, see you soon. Amen. Sabi ng verse, our presence for a spur one one another, di ba? We spur one another. Our presence is an encouragement to each other. Sino ba ang hinahanap mo tuwing Sunday na gusto mo talagang hindi siya mag-absent? <laughs> Amen. Ganyan tayo to each other. Amen. Hindi lang tayo nandito dahil sa isang one person, the isang one person, sa isang tao, nandito tayo because we are a family. Amen. At in verse 25, sabi dyan, all the more you, as you see the day approaching. Di ba? Mas malapit na ngayon ang pagbalik ni Jesus compared 2,000 years ago. All the more. Ibig sabihin, habang tumatagal tayo kay Lord, dapat magiging mas mainit tayo, mas malalim tayo, at magiging mas, maya, mas masaya ang ating samahan. All the more. Are you all the more today than yesterday? Amen. Mas passionate kayo ngayon than last month, than last year? Is that Amen. Kailangan tayo palaging all the more growing each day in our relationship with God. And the last is refresh yourself in the presence of God. This is personal intimacy with God. Sabi ng Matthew 11, 28 to 30, Alam talaga ni Lord ang ano ang kailangan natin 
That's why Jesus made this invitation for all of us. Sabi ni Jesus sa atin, come to me. Come, go to Jesus. Come to Jesus, sabi niya. All who are weary and burdened. There are times that you feel weary and burdened. Tama? And sabi ni Jesus, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ang buhay ay maraming problema. Sino sa inyo walang problema? Wala. In this life, because this is not a perfect world, this is a sinful world, that's why it is not perfect. But one day, God will make it perfect once again. Okay? In this life, we have pressures. Pressure sa work. Pressure sa love life. <laughs> pressure sa finances, sa relationship. Maraming pressure. Pressure dahil walang love life. Hintayin niyo mga single kung magka-love life kayo. Amen. When life is we- when life weary you, kung marami kayong problema, maraming some many things burden your soul. Okay? Sabi ni Jesus or Jesus is inviting you, come to Jesus. Find rest in Jesus. Sabi sa verse 28, sabi ni, sa verse 28, sabi ni Jesus yan, I will give you rest. Jesus is the source of rest. At alam niyo yung rest, rest is an inward holiday, not a stop to an activity. Amen? Intindihin niyo yan, statement na yan. Rest is an inward holiday, not a stop to an activity. Di ba gusto natin magbakasyon? Gusto mong magpahinga, magbakasyon ka. Pagpunta mo sa bakasyon, marami kang ginagawa. Pag uwi mo, pagod ka. Pero masaya ka pa rin. Ganyan ang rest. Ganyan ang bakasyon. In life, busy sa trabaho, sa negosyo, sa pag eskwela maraming pressure sa relationship. Everything, pressure. Pero pag pumunta tayo kay Lord, nakakaroon tayo ng rest. It doesn't mean na wala tayong ginagawa. Marami tayong ginagawa. Kumakanta tayo, we gather together, we worship the Lord, we run our own life group, we help people, we serve other people, di ba? we prophesy, we teach, we encourage, we give, everything. Do our ministry. We are one body, many gifts, many talents, we work together, pressure yan. Pero rest pa rin. It is an inward holiday, happy tayo. Dahil we gather together. Is that amen? I experienced a long time ago, no? I, I was uh, a company executive before. Malayo ang mga assignment ko sa Wanga, Manila. Then, then I was assigned in a foreign country in Vietnam as country manager. It is so difficult. I want to go home regularly to my family. Pero mahirap dahil sa layo. There are times na alanganin ang oras, I still ride a plane kahit bumabagyo. Parang mahulog yung eroplano. I have experienced a lot of experiences na malapit na mahulog ang eroplano. And then, kahit anong oras, from Davao, pag from Manila, go to Davao ang plane ko kasi walang ibang flight. Pag wala sa Jensen, kahit Davao, baila na naman ako kahit anong oras. I want to go home. Because I find rest to be with my family. Ganyan ang rest, di ba? You do everything to be rested. Ganun din tayo sa ministry. Maraming pressure ang life sa labas. We need rest. We need to go back to God to worship the Lord, to be with our our life group, to be with our church mates, spiritual family. Is that amen? Dahil we find rest in gathering together. Look at this picture. Sabi ni Jesus, "Take my yoke upon you." Yung isang yung isang picture. Yung isa First of all, ganito ang normal. When you are yoked with a friend, you work together. Ganyan yan ang picture. Makasama tayo. But you know what? We are yoked together with Jesus. And this is the picture. The other one. 
Si Jesus, of course, yung payat, hindi yung mataba si Jesus. We are yoked with Jesus. He is strong. He can do everything. He is unlimited. He can comfort you. Di ba? At tayo naman yung payat. Nangingitim yan sa kasalanan. <laughs> Kaw- kawawa naman yung kaw- Ganyan tayo, ganyan ang picture natin. When we work, actually it is Jesus working with us. Kung hindi natin kaya, kunti lang ibigay na weight, na load. Tamang-tama lang na we can, we can work with Jesus in our life. Sinasabayan lang tayo, pag nagiging na-develop na yung ating spiritual muscle, dagdagan rin na ni Lord ang load natin para you will develop our spiritual muscle. We walk together. We are yoked with Jesus because we are Christians. God is working with us. Jesus is working with us. Sanctifying us to be the kind of person He wants us to be. Kung hindi natin kaya, bawasan naman ni Lord, ni Lord yung, yung load. Sabi, sabi dito, He will not load you to something that you cannot carry. Hindi ka bibigyan ng load ni Jesus na hindi mo kaya. Hindi niya pasubrahan yung load. Tamang-tama lang na load ang ibigay niya para ma-develop yung spiritual muscle mo. Is that amen? That's the kind of partnership we have with Jesus. He is, sabi ng verse 29, He is gentle and humble in heart. And I would like to minister to you. May I now ask the praise and worship team to come, to come up on stage and we will sing this this song Blessed Assurance as they are coming over no Blessed Assurance the last song we sang a while ago were you touched? the touch ba kayo sa ganda ng kanta? no? Blessed Assurance Jesus is mine Jesus is yours oh what a foretaste of glory divine a foretaste Pinatikim sa atin ni Lord kung anong saya meron tayo dahil nandyan na tayo kay Lord. ba? Diba? Patikim pa lang ito. Sabi ng verse kanina, it is not worth comparing. The suffering today is not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed to us. Amen? So huwag tayong mawala dahil maraming problema. Maliit lang yan compared sa award, sa trophy of championship that is yours because you are in Jesus. Sabi ng kanta, heir of, heir of salvation, purchase of God. I was meditating on this lyrics, purchase of God. Nag-shopping si Lord, binigay ang kanyang dugo, ang kanyang buhay, ang nabili niya, tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Yan ang nabili ni Lord. Di ba? Tayong lahat, Tayo ang pinili, Lord. He paid for us. Our salvation is free. But Jesus paid a very expensive price for our salvation. His own life. Imagine that. And then born of His Spirit. In this life, we have problems, we have trials, we have challenges, but we have the Spirit of God that empowers us to work with Him to become a healthy, spiritually a spiritually fit person as we exercise our talents and skills in serving with, with uh, serving one another in loving each other. Let's worship the Lord. I request everybody to stand and be ministered with this song. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, air of salvation, purchase of
perfect submission All is at rest I am my Savior am happy and blessed Watching and That, that, that now you have a new life story that Jesus is changing your life story Amen so this is our story with our new life in the Lord we have this blessed assurance secure in the love of our Jesus our Father who is in heaven His plans for us is so good perfect yes there are sufferings but the sufferings are not comparable to the glory that will be revealed to us. Yes, there are challenges and problems, but everything will work out together for good. And yes, no one can separate us from the love of God. That is the story of our life. We are so secure. And today, as we continue to exercise spiritually, God is reminding us that three steps to maintain physical, spiritual fitness, I mean, Read your Bible every day. Love the Word of God. Apply them in your life. Be changed by the Word of God. Secondly, exercise your talent and skills. Serve people. Love people. We work together. We are one, one go. Loving God, loving people. Third, value your life group. Value your church. We gather regularly because we need to worship God together. This is how God designed us to be, one spiritual family. And lastly, be refreshed with your intimacy with Jesus. Come, go to Him. Come to me, sabi ni Lord. His yoke is easy and His burden is light. He is humble and He is gentle. And our Jesus wants to let us know that He loves us so much and nothing he is going to withhold nothing he will withhold because he loved us shall we pray father god bless your word today bless every heart that receive your word thank you god how you touch our hearts gently and humbly father god i pray for humble hearts i pray god for hearts that are receptive to your word right now lord you are working to every heart god changing us to be the kind of person, Lord, you want us to be. Lord, bless our online friends, Father. Lord, we pray for them, every family represented here today. Father, I pray that you will continue to grow, build our spiritual muscles, 
and love each other because we are a family. In Jesus' name we pray, God's people will shout, Amen. As we continue standing, let's continue praising the Lord with this song. This is my story. Come on, sure, sing. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Stay tuned for our announcements. To our new friends, welcome to the family. We would love to hear from you, so we are encouraging you to join a life group. Just ask the person who invited you for more details. Celebrate with us every Sunday at 2 p.m. here at the Word for Everyone Ministries. 
for those who can join us, we are streaming on our official Facebook page. For news and updates, like and follow our official Facebook page. If you want to learn more about our God or re-watch our previous Sunday services, subscribe to our YouTube channel, tap the notification bell to get notified with our new videos. We are encouraging everyone to join our Dawn Prayer meetings every Saturday, 5 a.m. via Zoom. Please ask your network leaders for the link. Happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Happy birthday! Amen. Can we give a clap to the Lord one more time? Amen. Glory to God. Shall we pray? Yes, Lord, this is our story. To worship you, to glorify your name, to gather regularly, to exercise our faith in Jesus. Father, thank you for your faithfulness. Lord God, we pray for the offerings given by your people. Bless them, Lord. Bless the work of their hands. Bless their business, their employment, Lord. That despite the pandemic, you continue to provide for our needs, Lord. Bless, Lord, give them new ideas, new opportunities that in times of trials, Lord, your people will prosper. Indeed, every good and perfect gift, Lord, belongs to you and comes from you. And for that, O oh God, we honor you. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. As we go out from this place, Lord, your people will walk with confidence, with joy, because we have you, Jesus, in our lives. And now, with the love of God, our Father, the grace and mercies of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the power, the presence of the Holy Spirit, be with us all through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and Amen. The Lord bless you yes. and keep you and make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace.
blessed day to everyone watching this video. I hope everyone is blessed and has learned something through God's word today. Amen. It is our prayer and desire that we all grow more in wisdom and in love and also change as we listen to God's word. If you do have questions and clarifications, feel free to message us through our FB page and we will respond to you as promptly as we can. We believe that people need the Lord, so don't forget Amen. to share this video to your loved ones and your neighbors. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give that bell a tap for notifications and new videos. God, God bless, bless you and see you on our, our next video. video.